Hey guys, what's up? It's Stacy from Cloud9 Slimery and I'm back here today with another YouTube video. Anyways, as you should be able to tell by the title, it is another review, which I haven't done one in a hot minute. I think the last one I did was like Momo Slimes. Actually, that wasn't that long ago. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so I'm doing another underrated slime shop review and I know you guys really like these because who doesn't like underrated slime shops? Just saying. Anyways, this slime shop super awesome. I can't wait to see what they sent me because this package was sent to me free for the purpose of review. So all opinions are my own. So you don't have to worry about me lying or anything because who the heck likes that? This do be a brutally honest review. But although it is brutally honest, I do like to give constructive criticism to the slime shops that are new or just starting out or, you know, on the smaller side. Um, I feel like I'm more like medium, if you know what I mean. But anyways, I just wanted to get say a big thank you to them for sending this package. And if you guys want to send a package, my P.O. box is in the description down below. And if you want a YouTube review, just send three or more slimes. There's some um, information over on my Instagram if you are interested. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video, but, but before we do, make sure you guys go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, because you guys know you want to be a part of the Fluff fam, because who doesn't? But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Woo! So here's their box. We're just going to show... We're just gonna show her off a little bit, you know. Boom, boom, boom. Model status. I know, I know. So I did already go ahead and open it. I didn't actually dig into it. I was going to because I'm nosy. But I decided I shouldn't because I didn't want to disturb anything. But I didn't know that there was a little this on top note, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that to the side. Maybe. Scooch, scooch over. Goodness. She just wants to be in the frame. Anyways. <laughs> So there's a cute little note. It's got a little little sticker. I think this is actually from the record. Rec <laughs> Rude. Sorry about that. Um. Anyways, I'm pretty sure she's from the Wreck It Ralph movie. I think. But anyways, this is their little note. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. It's like a little care sheet. So you guys know, like usually the standard type stuff. But they also put on here the slimes that they included. Um. So they have. If slime sticky, add a little bit of, it just is a little bit of solution. So I definitely recommend either, I'm not sure if they're borax free or not. Maybe I should check that out. I will put it right here if they are. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and there could be like solution in the box. So that might be a little bit easier to tell. But if there's not, I highly recommend being a little bit more specific. That way if there's someone who's new to slime and doesn't know what the heck solution is, they would be able to fix their slime. Um, and it says, you know, what you should do if your slime's hard, that it sticks to furniture, wash your hands, the standard. And then here are the slimes that are included. I don't want to read them because I kind of want to be a little bit surprised, but I'm going to let y'all see it. I'm going to let y'all see it. So you guys know before me. <laughs> and then it says, please don't show my address. <laughs> That's so funny because I literally marked the heck out of it. Like there is a legit hole. <laughs> that's so funny okay i'm so sorry i'm just me but anyways let's go ahead and see what's in the box also don't worry i will be doing asmr at the end of this video of all the slimes and like talking about them and giving my opinions stuff like that so don't worry there do be asmr but i figured i would like show my face unless you don't like that i'm so sorry but <laughs> i just figured it'd be something new so let's see there are a ton of packing peanuts which is great because that's just this is great. We love that. I'm going to go ahead and like point it down a little bit so you guys can see what's in it. So we got, ooh, we got a slime. And there's also these like, these ones? I don't know what they're called. They're like packing peanuts, but I don't know. They're just colorful. Ooh, we got some marshmallow beads. We love that. Marshmallow beads. So cute another slime Ooh, this one's in a big mama 
cute. Ooh, oh my god, this is like a DIY slime. That's exciting. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh, there's something else. Ooh, we got little, little, what are these called? Uh, seashells. I cannot think for a minute. Ooh, wait. There's some, there's a random container. This could be for inflation. Might be in the note, honestly, but I didn't read it, so you guys might have to let me know. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. I don't think I see anything else in here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Oh my God, we found an imposter. It's a different one. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so glad not many, many popped out because I did not want to have to pick all those up. Anyways, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and unwrap them and see what we got. All right, so this one looks super cute. I'm so glad they bubble wrapped everything. And taped things too. They taped it as well. I did want to say these containers are definitely more on the flimsy side. So boxes are highly recommend for these types of containers, which I'm so glad this was in a box because if you can imagine if it's in a bubble mailer, it might just literally squish. But anyways, this is Gummy Bear Crunch. Looks like a snow fizz. It smells like slightly scented, but it also smells like lotion. So I don't know, I have to check. I'm not sure what these are for. These might just be like a random extra. Let's open this one. Ooh. Ooh, tricks. So like trick cereal. These are like the sturdy, heavy duty uh, eight ounce delis. I don't think this one's scented, but oh my God, look at these beads though. Don't you like kind of want to eat it? Because same. But don't eat slime. Wouldn't recommend. All right, this one. Ooh, look at those sprinkles. We love that. Jet. I just said that backwards. Donut jelly. Also, I'm so glad that they have labels. That's so great. This one isn't scented as well. What is? Oh my god, I think this is a DIY clay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, and then we got Big Mama up here. We got, got confetti donut. Oh my God, there's DIY clay pieces in here. And extra sprinkles. Holy cannoli. I can't get it open, but I'm so excited. Literally, I'm so excited. Anyways, hello. Packaging, super great. Nothing leaked, cracked, broke, nothing. I think this is a little extra container for inflation so great we love that a little extras not sure what this goes to i think it's just like a little extra freaking amazing bubble wrap 10 out of 10 hello we love a secure queen and we also love that it was in a box and everything was detailed we even got a little note describing what everything is so great only other thing that i would recommend is maybe some logo stickers i love that you have name labels highly recommend logo stickers that way people if they're like Say they have a bunch of slime and they're going to be like, oh my god, I want to play with confetti donut. And they're like poking it, but they're like, huh, I don't remember who shop this was from. That's just like a good reason to have logo stickers. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into feeling all the slimes. Why am I so... Holy... Okay, it's clearly telling me to go to the ASMR. So the first one we have is called Donut Jelly. So it says it's a snow fizz on the bottom, a clay on top with some jelly slime in the middle, and that it's scented like candy apple. Um, I didn't notice the jelly slime. I'm not sure if it just mixed during transit. And I also didn't smell anything, which like I said in the beginning, if it was scented, it was very light. And it mainly smelled like lotion, which isn't a bad thing because the lotion didn't smell bad at all. Um, I did want to mention that the clay piece on top was a little bit dried out, but that is definitely due to the type of container it is in. It, it is in. Um, the containers aren't very airtight, so I highly recommend maybe putting it in like the jelly container or something or getting new containers like screw top lids. But once it was mixed in, it was definitely a lot more stretchy and easy to, you know, knead and everything. And it was also very, very crunchy and sizzly, which is super nice.
The next slime we have is called Gummy Bear Crunch. It says it's a full snowflake slime that's 5.5 ounces and it's scented like grape. So the containers are the same to me. I'm assuming it's because maybe like one's less filled. I'm not really sure what that is about. Um, I didn't smell anything. Honestly, I didn't really smell grape. Again, I just smelled the lotion scent. This slime was definitely a little bit underactivated, but I just added a tad bit of activator that helped a ton. This slime definitely is super packed, super crunchy, and it's so nice. Next we have Trix. They say it's a semi-foam unscented. That's 8 ounces. Um, definitely love the foam beads. It, the slime is actually really, I don't know how to describe it. It's like like soft and like squishy. I don't know. I guess, I'm assuming it's the beads. Um, I definitely would like a little bit more base. It definitely seemed more on the full foam side and to the point where it ripped a little bit when stretched. So I definitely recommend maybe a little bit more base. Um, I definitely love the flown beads. It was super pretty. This slime was also a little bit sticky, but it was very crunchy and created really nice bubble pops and crunches. Lastly, we have Confetti Donut, which was a DIY clay slime, and it mixed to about mm, a little less than 8 ounces. They said 8 ounces, but it's like a little bit less than 8 ounces. Um, this one's also unscented, and so I really like the base. It's like silky. It's a little bit on, on the thickly texture, but it's very silky and like soft and glossy. Also love the amount of sprinkles. It's super awesome. One of the clay pieces, the first one I do put down, was completely dried, so I ended up taking it out and just mixed the other one in. Highly recommend wrapping clay pieces in saran wrap, especially if you have it in a larger container like that 8 ounce. That's what I typically do. Um, but anyways, it did turn into a really nice lace slime. Probably would have been more clay heavy one if I could mix the other one in, but it was just completely dried out. I didn't want to ruin you know, the, the, the slime that I did have, but I really did like it. It actually inflated quite a bit, which you'll see towards the end. Thank you so much MGM Slime for sending over this review. I loved it. It was super awesome. Your textures are very unique and great. Definitely check them out here on their social medias and make sure you leave a comment down below which slime was your favorite and I'll see you next time.